Hey guys, as I was doing some spring cleaning, uh, as I put in a post, uh, I don't know, two weeks ago or so, I found that I had some of these left. I'd originally ordered 500 of them that I was using as uh, awards for students who were outstanding at each belt level uh, during belt gradings. And, uh, and then I, you know, I also use them as gifts sometimes when I'm, when I'm traveling doing seminars and things like that. And I like to take them with me once in a while to take pictures in uh, different places. So, as I was cleaning up, I found I didn't have a lot of them left. I actually broke one this morning as I was setting this up. So. And uh, so here's, here's what I'm going to do. There's 30 of them right here. I'm going to keep a couple back for myself and st to still use as gifts. I think overall I have about 40 left. So I only have 10 left after, after this lot. Each one of these will be signed, numbered, and you'll get a certificate of authenticity. with the corresponding signed and numbered bobblehead. Uh, these are available for purchase by anybody. Uh, however, people who are already members of the Kyusho Institute will get uh, special pricing on that. And then we're also having a contest that I'm going to announce right now, is that whoever has the best picture that's submitted to me, that I can actually publish, because uh, I know some of you are going to do some things with it. Why are you laughing? The camera person's laughing. Lori's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Yeah, okay. I won't I've mention any names. The, I've seen some of the pictures that came out of your last vacation with this. And uh, I know it wasn't you. Maybe. No. <laughs> so so uh, I'm going to number them. Dated today, what is today's date? April 12th, 2016. And on September 15th, I will announce the winner. The reason that we're waiting till September for that is that people go on vacation and we want you to be able to have as enough, enough uh, opportunity as possible to take some pictures with that. And at the end of the, uh, uh, after September 1st, when everything, everything has to be submitted by September 1st, then what I'm going to do is uh, a few people are going to vote and uh, whoever's got the best picture is going to win one year's membership in the Kyusho Institute uh, premium, meaning it comes with your basic, you get a new class every three days and you also will get uh, um, access to our monthly Kyusho cast where we have one that's available for purchase by anybody, even if you're not a member, and then a private one just for members. So you get two Q show casts per month. It's an additional two hours worth of content. So far this year, we've done uh, two Q show casts on spinal reflex. We did two on kata and stances, and we did several on how to clean up your technique. And many of you did see me in the shower. Hey, good morning. Yes, I'm in the shower. From the waist up. So, is everybody here in agreement? Everybody's in agreement. Okay, so, I'm going to sign a number. <clears throat> number one. So, can you, uh, Zoom in on that. One down. They, they made these out of clay originally. They, they sent me, I sent them just 10 pictures. And uh, uh, 
uh, they sent me a picture to show me that these were being made. I'll see if I can find them in my archives. I don't, I don't know if I have them, have those pictures still. But they were, uh, it looked like a little army of me. It was, it was very eerie. And uh, when I saw that that uh, that image of an entire army of me being set up to for assembly, some with the heads on, some with the heads off. I, uh, at first I was like, ooh, I think I'm making a mistake with this, you know. Um, you know, it felt like it, it was an ego thing. No, I actually saved a lot of money by having, by creating these in China. And um, I, uh, it, was, it was well worth it. But you know what? I mean, it's, I've had these for a long time. I'd rather have, you know, a lot of people. It's a good conversation piece for some people. That's not me saying it. These are what people tell me. And uh, the... Uh, one number five, right? Maybe I should just shut up and just keep signing. <clears throat> the uh, people walk and go, who, who is that? They go into their house. So... I said that you know when when I broke the head on one of them before, wherever it is. Um, sometimes I'll make something out of the head, and I was uh, so I made a bottle stopper. For a wine a wine stopper, I glued a cork. A cork fits perfectly up inside. The, the head, because you can see it's sitting on the spring over here. And uh, number six. Um, so my sister was having a New Year's party, and she said, does anybody want any more wine? And they said no. So she put the, the, uh, the bobblehead stopper my head on top of the wine and her friends were like, who is that? She said, it's my brother. I'm like, why is he on the wine? <laughs> but see, it became a conversation piece. So if you want to get this and then break the head off, that's up to you. Um, he does like to be fed red wine on Fridays. saying earlier that I wanted to give one of these to you know, a, a former mentor who meant uh, a lot to me and I knew he'd draw something on the forehead so I, I didn't give it to him. I know him all too well. Spent the better part of 15 years with him and I wish things were different but, uh, but it's not. So you know what? It's okay. Life is short. Look on the on the kids' faces when I used to give these to the kids for you know at the Bell graduation. They knew they were getting an award, but they didn't really understand that it was me until I went like this, and then finally they were just like, "It is him," and they weren't sure what to make of it. The look on their faces were, "Why are you giving me as a statue of you?" <laughs> I, I was bored. I don't know. I nothing better to do. Uh, that was number nine, right? <clears throat> you only got to listen to a few more minutes of this, right? Thank God. Maybe one day I'll do these again. Hopefully by that time they'll be made in America and you can actually uh, 
We can put Americans to work. That's my political statement for today. Ten down. Submit. We'll have a special uh, page set up on Facebook, and you can submit your pictures there so people can see them uh, throughout the year, you know, or throughout the next throughout the year, the next couple months, so they can see what they're up against. And if anybody puts something up there that I that, that I don't think is appropriate, I'm going to take it off. And I know some of you are already thinking, so stop it. <clears throat> When I first uh, I first introduced these to the world in France, in Tonalabon, France, in uh, 2006, November 2006, for a seminar, a friend of mine said to me, "Bro, people are going to do some bad things with this." And I said, "I know." <laughs> I, just, I had to be. I had to understand that. I said, "I just don't want to see the pictures." And actually, a guy from Sicily that year, Marcello Gianola, uh, he won the contest that I had then, and that was that was the the first and only contest that I did. Uh, he uh, uh, he had a picture of his newborn daughter sleeping and like cradling the bobblehead. It was actually pretty cute. You know, there, there was, uh, I would have been a real jerk probably if he didn't win that one. Uh, so, hands down, that was the winner on that one. So, why this particular move? Why am I in that pose? Well, a good friend of mine, Jim Korn, I saw him do a technique uh, on a video when we were all with DKI and I thought about what he did. One night I was home, I mean this is a long time ago, I had a full head of hair. And I was still living in my parents house. Um, my brother walked in the door. I was watching Seinfeld. It was like 11 o'clock at night. I was watching Seinfeld. And uh, um, 15. I was watching Seinfeld. My brother walked in, and all of a sudden I went, Come here. I wasn't even thinking about that move. I, it had been in my mind. And so, so. Uh, I said, I want to try something. I said, I'm not going to knock you out, but I want to see what happens. I, you know, I just, I, 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 I hit him on stomach five and I hit him on stomach 18. And, and he went like this and he took a seat on the couch and I was like, I think I got it. So this is a move out of Katagoji Shiho. And I remember Dillman had telling me that Goji Shiho is going to be a good kata for me. And... Uh, so I was like, okay, sounds good to me. And I was trying to figure out what this move could be used for, what it could be used for. I kept going through it, going through it, thinking about it constantly, and it just popped into my head, and then I further refined it, etc. And uh, so I... Uh, Number is this? Sixteen. I lost my hair and my marbles. Um, 
the first time I, and this was probably, early, early 90s. Um, I'll, I'll add a video, I'm also videotaping this. I'm gonna add a video clip of that knockout uh, to the, uh, to a, another video I'm gonna put up online. Kind of Charlie, move out of the way so you can see. But uh, so I, I've been doing this since the early '90s, when you know I, I was the first one that came out with it. Did I create it? I don't know. Did I rediscover it? I'll go with that. Okay, I don't think much new is created. A lot of things are rediscovered or reused in a different way. Um, there aren't many people that are copying it right now, which is fine. I don't care. I have a uh, uh, on my uniform that I'm not wearing at the moment. Um, on my karate uniform, I have an embroidered image of this. Okay, because that's uh, well. Hang on, give me the camera. Because it was something that, I don't know, helped put me on the map. So, when I was teaching in Australia in uh, um, November, November 2015, one of the guys told me, oh, this other guy that comes down to Australia, you know, this is his signature move. And I said, well, what is it? And he told me. And I said, that's mine. He said, what do you mean? I said, and when I say mine. I'm the one that reintroduced it to people, and I told them where I got it from, how I developed it, the same way I just told you. It all came because of Seinfeld. No, it just that just would have to be on TV when when uh, when it popped into my head. Eighteen down, and um, I uh, that was eighteen. Right? I didn't sign this one. I'm multitasking over here. Um, I uh, I said that's he says that's his signature move, huh? So I said, look over here in my uniform. He goes, yeah, that's the same move. And I said, I said, how about the bobblehead doll? He goes, yeah. And, and I said, so you know, and I showed him the video, and he goes, yeah, that's the technique. So it was low battery. Low battery on the phone. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on, don't go anywhere. So, <clears throat> lost my train of thought. I don't know if I had a train of thought at all while I was doing this. So, so um, I, you know, I showed him the, the proof that this, this is mine. I, I've done that. I've been doing this technique for so long. I'm all over Dylan's videos doing this one. And he goes, yeah, I did, did see you doing it on there. And I said, well, I, you know, and I told him how I came up with it. And so, is it my signature move? I don't know. I created a bobblehead for it and I used my... The embroidery on my gi uh, with that. So, this is number 19. Uh, I just uh, want to let everybody know I was probably the first one in a long time to do this particular movement on video, in public, etc. So, uh, if you have any questions on that, you can ask me. Or better yet, you can ask Dr. Stewart. And, you know, years ago, uh, one guy was trying to cause trouble between Wally J and Remy Prisas. And he said to Wally, he says, you know, Remy's stealing your techniques. And Wally said, it's okay, I'm stealing his. We call it sharing. So I don't mind sharing. I do mind when somebody wants to tell everybody that it's theirs and theirs alone. That's sort of really not kosher, okay? You know, I don't know everything. I don't profess to know everything. But I can tell you this, the first time I did that, that knockout live, Everybody was like, holy crap. Because it looks like 
uh, I think the first person I did it on was my brother. It looked like he was shot and somebody pulled the rug out from him all at the same time. Now that Joey move out of the way so you can see he's... It has a very dramatic effect and you'll see when I post the video. Is my head too shiny? Is it? Is the light bouncing off? Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> a little bit. That's right. You only have to put up with a few minutes more of me babbling, and I'll let, let you get back to your regularly scheduled program. So, the way this contest works, you take this with you on vacation, whoever has the best picture submitted by, uh, 21 there is, by, uh, what date did I say? 9-1, by September 1st, we'll announce the winners on September 15th, they will win one year's membership to the Kyushu Institute, and more specifically the Pinpoint Method, our premium program. And any these are available, it's first come, first serve basis. It, the, the, they will be shipped in numerical order. First order, number one, blah, 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 blah. Okay? And, uh, and then we go from there. So you're seeing each one of these personally signed and certified, well, being certified by me, Glory, and my two dogs, Clancy and Coco. They don't seem as interested, they're both half asleep. I know you certainly don't want me to sing for you. This is the first and probably only time I'm going to do something like this. I, I, uh, I've been not dreading having to make this, film this, but, but I just... plenty of other things to do and uh, so that, I, that I, I have to do but I, I <laughs> yeah I don't yeah I don't want to I don't want to have to I gotta like shampoo part of the rug in my house with the stairs I really don't want to do it this is more interesting than doing that and I'm not filming me shampooing the, the rug I'll probably get yelled at as we're, that I'm doing it <laughs> because I don't want to do it Twenty-six, yes. Two more. Then we gotta put them back in the box. What did you think of the first time you saw one of these? Like, what's wrong with this person? Um, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> why, why would he make one of these of himself? I, I think he showed me the picture of the army at the same time. <laughs> it's like, holy crap. This <laughs> guy is nuts. <laughs> I thought, well, I didn't think I was nuts, but I was sort of like, you know, I said, people are going to think, wow, the ego on this guy. And I'm like, no, I was using it to save money. I actually, I was spending a lot of money on these awards that I was getting the kids. I got them something unique 
you know, at a, at a decent price, I was able to save a little bit of money and it became a conversation piece. So it's advertising. When people go to their house and they go, who's that? Oh, it's my karate instructor. Who's your karate instructor that he has his own bubble in? The kids you know? love him. I, well, I know. And that's, but that was the whole point, you know, that the parents would tell me that they had a special place in the house for him. I'm sure some of you might have a special place for him. But uh, uh, a friend, so uh, I, don't, I don't know if I, if I told you, but uh, Jim Corrin's wife, when I gave him one to take home a long time ago, she says, that's not staying in the bedroom. <laughs> she says, it's not going to look at me all night. That's and, funny. <laughs> I started laughing. So when I was at their house, I should have moved it into the bedroom. I forgot, I forgot to do that. <laughs> That's it. When you come to my house, I'm keeping an eye on you. Where is it? I'm not telling you. <laughs> well, I don't have one because I wasn't good enough to get one. I don't have one. The girls have them. Oh, okay. I wasn't as exceptional of a student. <laughs> I'm a work in progress. Come on. Aren't we all? You know what? Everyone's got to be able to have, to be able to make fun of themselves. And you know, I make enough fun of myself doing things, whether I'm doing an, an ad from the shower. I might have to do it with a bobblehead in the shower. Um, him you can see the whole body he's got clothes on alright last one number 30 dun, dun, dun. drum roll please no don't do that the heads are all, the heads are all bobbing yes. Bobblehead, you're going, now I can talk because I can, don't have to worry about multitasking. Uh, with each bobblehead, you get your certificate of authenticity. I'm not doing this again. The last ones I have, I'm going to keep for myself. I may use them as some gifts, you know, or something like that when I go do seminars. But uh, I'm just going to put them away so that uh, maybe uh, if nobody comes to my funeral, my ten bobbleheads will be there. Each one in the seat, and be, at least somebody will be there. I'll yeah. be there to bring the bobbleheads. <laughs> That'll be eerie. If we can get everybody to bring a bobblehead for the funeral, that'll freak some people out. Yeah, let's not think about that. Yeah, that'll be cool. Okay. <laughs> Write it down. Put it in your will. That's right. So, so uh, I don't want to be buried with anybody else except myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any pictures like that. that that's, no, let's not do that. Um, so, you'll get your certificate of authenticity signed, you'll get the bobblehead that's signed, and uh, the winner who has the best picture by September 1st, they have to be submitted by September 1st, will win one year's membership in our premium program. And um, again, there'll be anybody, these are available for anybody to purchase. I'm, it's going to be first come, first serve. I'm going to send out some emails first just to our members. And uh, uh, I'll know, and, and look, there's, I, people have these around the world, they don't have my signature, I've never signed them. I've never signed them like this, and I've never numbered them, and I've definitely never given anything like this. So I'll know who has them, because I'm going to keep a database, so anybody can submit a picture who has one, you know, that's not signed or certified, they're not in the contest. Real simple. Okay? So in order to be in the contest, you have to be have one of these. You don't have to take this with you when you're taking your picture. I'll know. Okay? So it could be you, your wife, your kids, the dog, the cat, the fish, whatever you want. And uh, that's it. Um, uh, I'm done signing, and now I'm signing off. So, ciao. I got to print a number. I think people keep watching because they never know what's going to come out of your mouth. <laughs> I know. I agree. No, I agree. I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth half the time.